I just wanted to take a quick minute to show off this beautiful Protex Strider that's on loan to me uh, from Joe at The Knife Whisperer. Great, uh, great channel if you want awesome knife reviews and, and funny, uh, interesting, entertaining insight into knives. He thought I would appreciate this, so he sent it along for me to check out, and he was absolutely right. This thing is beautiful, and I would imagine very tough and functional, though I've been treating it with kid gloves because um, it's not mine. And it is a very special Protec, SN Protec Strider SNG because, well, you've noticed it at this point, this incredible uh, G Carta handle scale. G Carta is a, uh, I think it's a one man company that makes really super unique uh, micartas. Look at this thing. I've never seen anything like this. It sort of looks like a brain. It sort of looks like topographical maps. Uh, definitely looks very patriotic. I think this, uh, I think this particular pattern is called patriotic G Carta. I, I'm probably mistaken, but um, it's just a knockout. I see this. I love all of these uh, Protec SNGs, but this one just knocks me for a loop. It's so pretty. And then look at that mother of pearl button. So cool. So this is, uh, what, a three and 3.4 inch blade, three and a half inch blade there. But of course you get about an inch, maybe a little more taken up with that choil. Um, to me, uh, this is uh, for the for the SNG, uh, the smaller of the two in this family, uh, Strider designs in this family. I find it more comfortable using that choil and coming up here uh, and holding it like this than I do coming all the way back here. Um, this is pretty comfortable, but you do get this point kind of going into your palm. Um, I would say the most comfortable way to use this knife without the choil is in reverse grip. It's actually quite um, optimized for reverse grip. But anyway, I don't think anyone who's carrying this particular version of the Protec Strider SNG is uh, carrying it in reverse grip and pounding it into 55-gallon oil drums or uh, getting in knife fights or anything like that. This is a showpiece. Um, that's not to say that this isn't uh, extremely capable and stout. I, I have every reason to believe it is, but I just can't imagine someone buying this and then like horsing it or, you know, abusing it and, and really going to town with it because it's such a refined and beautiful piece. So on this side, we have aluminum and it's like the integral side of a traditional Strider. So the, the traditional Strider has a G10 side or yeah, it's usually G10. And that G10 is uh, milled at like uh, the, <laughs> the show side and the back strap is all milled out of one piece of G10. And then it's married to this uh, single titanium side. It's sort of a, um, what do you call it? Signature design style of these striders. As this is an SMF. And this is an SNG. On this, uh, on the Protec SNG, they do the same thing, except uh, the business side, which is the metal side, um, is the side that incorporates the back strap or the backspacer here. And then it's married to one, yeah, whether my Carta or whatever else uh, the show side is. So it's, I think it's pretty neat that they maintained this sort of uh, signature feature, except they made it work for the type of design this is, an automatic. And what kind of an automatic is it? It's excellent, watch my hand jump. Watch all my, my hand fat jiggle. Uh, I, I really, really like how Protec makes automatic knives. Um, here, I'll, I'll do a size comparison with that in a minute, but I, I just wanna talk again about this and Protec's action. It is uh, second to none, as far as I know. I haven't tried everything uh, for out the side automatics. I had a um, Benchmade AFO, Armed Forces Only, two that I uh, gave to my brother. Uh, I loved that knife a lot, uh, but its action was slappy and not snappy. This snaps out and stays. The other one, uh, the, the Benchmade that I had was also very powerful. It felt like it slapped out. It kind of wobbled and... 
Um, it, it always it always locked open and it, it always did a great job of deploying, but I don't know, just seemed different. Seemed like there was more play in the action. Uh, I find Protex to be tight and snappy. Uh, this has 154 cm, uh, a, a commonly used steel for Protec. Um, I love 154 cm and CPM 154. I find them to be really uh, friendly when it comes to honing and and keeping sharp. They get wicked sharp. They're tough in that they don't. Yeah, it's a, it's a perfect all around steel. I think. Um, you know, maybe jack of all trades, master of none. That's that's what makes it a pretty good all arounder. Um, if you look closely at the blade, you'll see that, well, you don't have to look that closely. You'll see the maker's mark for Strider, which is just so cool. It looks like a long bayonet with the wings, stylized wings. And on the other side, you have the ProTech logo. You've got the sort of mach machine, shat machine satin going in that direction, and then sort of a tumbled finish on the bevel. You got the traditional Strider clip here, and the um, lanyard hole that doesn't get uh, doesn't get in the way of the blade here. Most striders, here I'm gonna bring in my SMF. If you look at the lanyard hole, your 550 cord, which will barely fit through there, is not long for this earth. Uh, so I think the best way to put a lanyard on one of these, on a, on a um, strider like this, is to gut out the paracord so that it's thin and just put it on one side preferably the titanium side. So let's compare these. Oh, that was fun to do. Let me just do that again. Ugh. So you can see the size difference between the SMF and the SNG. And uh, I, I've always been a bit partial to the S SMF because as I mentioned before, if you're not using the, you don't have to use the choil on an SMF to me. If you come all the way back here, it's it's more comfortable than on the SNG. It gives you a little more room. You got a little less gougy gougy there and, uh, and you're good to go. Also in the reverse grip, this is pretty excellent. <laughs> Such a cool knife. They're, they're, I remember when I first saw a Strider knife, I was like, I don't know if I love it or hate it. And I just grew to love them. They're so, brutish, uh, but they're also very pretty and feel feel nice in hand. So I only have a couple of comparisons for this knife. The other three are Protex. This is the uh, the Protec Rockeye. This was from the first run uh, several years back. Um, Les George design, CPM D2. Uh, wow. This was my first Protec, my first Les George, and uh, man, this thing has snappy action. This is a great, great classic. This is the, uh, what is this? The TR3 SWAT. 154CM again. And kicks like a mule. Again, snappy, not slappy. Both work. It's just a matter of preference. And I like the snappiness of this. And then lastly is definitely the strongest Protec I've ever felt in terms of uh, in terms of spring. This one got a lot of use uh, painting my daughter's room, and uh, I have not cleaned it off yet. I think it kind of looks cool. Um, that that it's sort of a you know very tactical looking knife with this sort of baby blue color, this teal whatever it was she chose. Uh, kind of looks kind of looks good together. Uh, this one is kind of beaten up. I dropped it. Um, and I bought it used from a guy, I think he was from Oklahoma or Texas, who was a farmer and he used this during one of his harvest seasons. So this knife has seen a lot of work and most of it uh, was not by me, but um, check this out. Well, I don't know if you can actually perceive how strong this is. This is by far the snappiest, strongest, mule kickinest um, automatic I've ever I've ever experienced or I've experienced thus far. And it's got a pretty small and light blade, which says a lot about how strong that spring must be. This is such a great knife. This is the TR2, I think it's called, the TR2. Feels great in hand. Um, and, and if you look at it next to this SNG, it's sort of the opposite. Like um, in 
not in purpose necessarily, but in how it's been used. This, I think, is going to be babied for the rest of its life because of its specialness. And this one is totally unspecial and yet special at the same time. Uh, and just has been bashed and we'll keep on keep on rolling. This is obviously capable of all of this, uh, but probably will never get used that way. Whether Joe keeps this, sends it along, or I buy it from him. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, this has been uh, the Protec SNG. Ooh, I did, it just, that was a slappy, that was a slappy deployment. And I think that was due to me. Anyway, SNG, Protec, Strider, G Carta, Mother of Pearl. Amazing knife. Thank you, Joe, for loaning this to me. Uh, I will take good care of it and treat it, uh, treat it like one of my own. Alrighty, take care.